Hello, this is Tanner with Fall Ridge Plumbing and Heating. We are making a dirty movie down in the basement of 707 Arapahoe. We are at the city tap of A2 for 10. This was accessed through the kitchen slash laundry clean out one right to the right side of the washer and dryer. Right here, yesterday we had uh, one of our other techs, Jeremy, he came out here and he had to clear out a blockage that was from what I could probably guess is right here at that tap. Looks like he cleared it up the best he could. This does appear to be some SDR pipe that we are in. I was called out today because we had another backup and that was actually due to the kitchen and laundry line. Those are a terrible combination to put together. They, all the sludge, grease, grime, soap scum, muck, all that fanciness and lint uh, comes together and makes a big, thick, black, gooey mess. Alrighty, and it looks like we transition right here. Um, looks like that is... Either some more plastic pipe, maybe ABS, but that would be weird. Or it might be some clay pipe, but it definitely looks like plastic. But anyway, so I came here because that kitchen laundry line was backed up with sludge and grease, grime, muck, and all that fanciness, and a bunch of lint as well. And so I ran our K9 sewer machine. That is our, uh, our chain machine that's made for taking off a scale buildup on cast iron and dealing with sludge. It handles it quite nicely. I'll show you as soon as I get back to it. <clears throat> also up here, we'll go right around 66 feet, or a belly is starting. Very shallow. I don't have a ball on my camera right now. Anyways, we're jumping back and forth on uh, our topic right now. But back to that uh, canine sewer machine. I ran about 60, 65 feet with that. That belly also ended right here at 52 foot 9. And I use our nice uh, chain bits with it. There's another belly that starts at around 51 feet. Here we go under water. This water is probably a good maybe one, one and a half inches deep. And just as fast as it started, we are already out of it at about 45 feet. Okay, and up here we have a yet another belly starting. That is somewhere around 39 feet. And we'll go under the water just a little bit. This belly looks to be maybe about an inch to an inch and a half again. So this definitely it looks like we have transitioned. That looks like it was clay pipe that we were in, but it transitioned to ABS or PVC. Looks like PVC. There's a little bit of uh, sediment debris down there in the bottom of this belly. Here we jump up and we transition from uh, probably that SCR PVC to our cast iron pipe. You can tell that's that cast iron because it has that scale building on the side. It makes it just a little bit bumpy, but I did run, like I said, about 60 feet of uh, that K9 machine. Right there we have a Y. And this whole line, pretty much from about right here, coming all the way back, was completely full of sludge. This is the line that goes to the uh, floor drain and the 
washer, the laundry, and kitchen line. See that my machine did a really good job. This before my camera had an extremely hard time even going through. I wasn't even able to get through it all the way, but my K9 machine went through it like a dream. Here we are turning up, coming out. Here's our access point. Right here, right next to the washer and dryer, we had to pull one out. And just for you folks at home, if you can, we'll go ahead and we'll go up this kitchen stack just to show you that it was clear. I did not have to run my machine through here though, which is nice. It was nice and clear. This is copper pipe. And it looks like we already passed that T that goes to the uh, to that kitchen line. Either way, this is a board production. Thank you for watching.